Hi there. Welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having an excellent day. I'm feeling very good today. And for me, that's not something that's been often in my life. The theme of my card reading today is about God, narcissism, um, tarot cards, probably the Bible, and I hope you get something from this. I struggle with speaking, so please bear with me and I appreciate your patience while I get my words formed so that it comes across as it's intended to with my energy and my speech. When I was little, I had a stuttering problem. I had hearing problems. I had many, many health ailments. And I've managed to control the stutter. So as well as being told to be quiet because when I was little and I had my stutter, I get excited, you know, and can you imagine what it was like listening to me, like a little machine gun going off, getting stuck on repeat on the same word. I, I understand. And the things I would talk about were, you know, God and stuff that was going to be going on. I wrote things and had my work destroyed. And because some of the things my mom was worried about, people getting their hands on and making their own judgments and I realized now why she brought me to Chassis, you know, so that was part of my destiny. Um, I'm a survivor of sexual assault from a very, very young age and I suffered a lot of internal injuries and I ended up with my own mental problems later on in life and you know getting sick and just there's just been so much and I've always lived my life under somebody's rules what I can and what I cannot do and what I'm allowed to do compared to what others are allowed to do. Others are allowed to you know, live their life and have their dreams and sing and play pianos and instruments and, you know, stand up comedians and be goofy, go to dances, have friends, have friends over. Being shipped off, like there's just so much. And a lot of my old videos you can go back and listen to them. I'm a survivor from being abandoned because now I, I'm totally like protected by God now. I know for facts, facts, faith, facts, truth, that he's my creator. He's our creator. He created this everywhere, everything, every person. And we all have a choice on how we treat ourselves and others and so on and so forth, right? Animals, trees, stuff like that. Um, I used to be very rambunctious. I used to be very aggressive and I climbed trees. I, fucking, I did a, all kinds of sad stuff that I'm not proud of and one time I was 
taking my anger out on a tree, the forest, the earth. I wasn't, and a little voice said to me, how would it feel if you did that to yourself? And that made me stop and think like, okay, like, no, I wouldn't like that, not at all. So that's where I learned at an early age about listening to the little voices and the good voices in your head, you know, and to the energy that comes through it, like, and if you can, if you can do that, with everything, inanimate, living, object, whatever, because it all holds energy. If you speak to it well, it will perform well and you'll see good things and you'll feel peaceful because it's almost like an instant change once you realize that you know, your fence isn't just a fence. It's made out of, if it's made out of wood or, or steel or whatever, it still holds energy. And I noticed how nature and, you know, the cities and people, I noticed how the energies were when I, wherever I go. So, I choose to isolate myself now. I mean, I'm 53 now. When I was younger, God, you couldn't keep my feet nailed down. And now I've learned how to experience life without actually even going anywhere. Like, But I'm actually going to go there in the 3D version because that's... I want to travel and I want to do all kinds of things and everybody in my life just never supported me, never said, oh, you know, you can do that or whatever. So once you learn, you know, to self-talk yourself up that you've done a good job and, and you know, reward yourself for the good deeds stop being so hard on yourself if you're doing good for others why on earth would you beat yourself up like it just doesn't make sense to me and sorry trucks going by and i just lost my train of thought which is another thing I struggle with. My thoughts come in and out really fast. So I appreciate if you listen to my videos because there's usually something in it that can help you. And if you're found, if you, this video has been drawn to you because I am using the, my power of love To give to you through my phone and I hope that you can find the peace in your heart to find forgiveness for everybody that's ever hurt you or wronged you forgive yourself for fucking up you know we're meant to experience life and our choices are our choices so Whatever you choose to do, that's what your, it's part of your destiny. That's what curiosity is, and that's what using your imagination is. And But along the way, you don't, and I'm sorry, this is probably for karmic people, but I don't like to call people karmics because I just love everybody. So I don't want to, I'm not going to be sucked down into that 
you know, why would I want to stay there? Like when God says you have favor, are chosen, that's it. Like nobody can take that away from you. So the way how narcissist is loosely, loosely used, I mean, there's nothing wrong with boosting yourself up. That doesn't make you a narcissist. What makes you a narcissist is when you boost yourself up and you shit on others. That's a narcissist. Um, I just, I don't like to do it. And when that part of me comes out, that angry, vicious uh, comes out, because I like, I don't believe you have the right to browbeat somebody, anybody, who's already struggling. So, I took my name off your list because the devil has a list of names on there. And that's from Joel Epstein, not Epstein, Epstein. He's a minister. I apologize, Joel. So thank you so much for the messages because I owe everything to God, my creator, the most high. Because I've had children, I've experienced a full life, and now it's gonna be good now for me, because I'm choosing me and my world and who I let into it. And I think you should do that too. I think you should do that too. You are number one. Figure that out. It's not narcissistic. It's not an order. The You guys, aren't you number one? Like, fuck. You can call me, do me any way you want to. It just bounces right back to you like a rubber ball. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy. So, I don't know how to read tarot cards very well. I was never taught. I've been watching tarot card readers and you know, I played with them, but they were mostly oracle cards. They weren't the actual tarot cards. So I've been trying to grasp the understanding without Being someone I'm not, I want to be myself. I want to be a teacher. I want to be thought of from what I've been giving. If I give you shit, I expect shit. But if I give good, I don't expect shit back. When I take a shit, I flush it and leave it and it's gone. Like, and when I'm shit on, I just, it's taken me a long time to get here, but I'm able to just cut. I can just cut It just, it doesn't mean I stop loving. I just don't send my energy to you directly. I stick to God and let him deal with it. My love's not going wasted. I got about a hundred and about a hundred now flowers that are going to be blooming soon. And after they bloom, I promised them to a lady in town. I'm going to take and give her like 15 of them so that she can do her front of her yard because they are very hardy, hardy uh, flowers. They're, I don't know if they're tiger lilies, tiger lilies, the orange tiger lilies. When they bloom, I posted pictures of them before on my channel. Um, 
Yeah, so after they bloom, then I'll cut them, cut them apart because they're so, um, not root bound, but because they're big tubers. So they're just, it's a big ball of tubers. <laughs> so I'm going to separate them and give them out to people, to women. The first card I came that came out is the Knight of Pentacles. And I like the horse that he's riding because I love horses and I've always wanted one. The Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to get my book. I don't think there's any wrong way of reading cards. But... <laughs> I think it just matters your intentions, right? If your intentions are good, it can't be, it can't go wrong. That's what I think. That's just my opinion. I grew up these opinions are like assholes and everybody has one. Sorry, YouTube. Okay. Night. And the description is a night rides a heavily kept. I don't I can't even read that. C A P A R I S O N E D horse through a freshly plowed field. He balances the pentacle symbol carefully as he were displaying it, but not really looking at it. Divinatory meaning. A black-haired, black-eyed young man, materialistic, methodical. Card betokened utility, serviceableness, patience, laborious toil, responsibility may represent the coming and going of a matter. So that kind of makes sense. It's like, it's like, I don't know, is it like not paying attention to your problems and just moving on type thing? Cause you know, things are going to get better. Standing your ground. Judgment, yeah, because you got people around you that are judging you. Hey, eh? is that right? There's your sword. I'm looking at your sword knowing I'm protected. So, hmm, look at the little, little baby there. I don't know, feel free to comment. The hangman, the hangman, the hangman. If you clicked off by now, I, I don't blame you. I would have left too. The hangman. The hangman is suspended from a gallows, a cross of living wood, his arms folded behind his back together with his head form a triangle with the point downward. His legs form a cross, thus the geometrical figure concealed here 
is that of a cross surmounting a water triangle. There is a nimbus about his head and his face expresses deep entrancement rather than suffering. <laughs> That's awesome. The figure suggests the reversal of the mind rather than of the body. A silent, un ostentatious reversal of one's way of life combined with perfect tolerance of the ways of other people in the aim of the practical occultist. Hmm. Surrender to a higher being causes a reversal of, in one's way of life. In spiritual matters, wisdom, prophetic power, self-sacrifice may also mean suspended decisions and a pause in one's life. Hmm. I think that's definitely my energy in this card reading. Maybe that's your energies too. It's like, we're all just been going through a shit show for so long and I'm 53 and like right from conception up until now, it's just been like, like I was not meant to be here. <laughs> like nobody wanted, nobody wanted me here. So now, and, and I would feel the worst pain in my heart. It felt like my heart was breaking all the time. And that pain, I mean, I know you've been there. If you're here and you're listening to this conversation and it's 2144, then you're a trooper and I commend you for sticking around and listening to me and supporting me and because it's really it's appreciated and I give and I expect to receive and if if I'm not getting what I'm giving then why would I expel all that energy to people that don't reciprocate so I'm learning now just to know I'm protected, relax, and enjoy my life. Like, because worrying about the past has had control over my life for so long, and it's enough. We all deserve great things. That's what God's promise was, and everyone who's last now it's going to become first so at, you know i'd be satisfied with even you know just enough you know enough of the crap i wanted to stop like with the what are the people in power doing everything like whatever it is i can only say so much or my channels get tunnel band or you know I risk some somebody coming up and shooting me in the head to get me to shut up but I, I believe that I believe I'm protected I believe I'm okay and I believe that the message is going to get out there in the way it's intended to not to cause chaos to stop the chaos to stop the stuff that we've all been dealing with for thousands of years, right? Control. I think we're all Israelites being run by the Romans, quote unquote, whatever. The one. Anyways, I don't know enough of my theology to even. Don't listen to a word I say. <laughs> Do your own investigating. I'm just sharing with you what I think and what I feel during my readings. And having a coffee with you. Shooting the shit. Pretending it's like a phone, right? Sharing my energy. And I'm still smoking. So I've already cleansed and blessed all the cards. I do it every day, all day. I send 
prayers out every day, all day. I'm focusing on rain right now, and I see it's coming. So the more people that focus on the rain coming, we can counteract what the little AI bots are doing. Because we have more power. And our power actually short circuits them out. And that's why we're experiencing glitches. So this might get flagged. I hope whoever hears it, hear it. I might cut it and make it into a short just to make sure at least a thousand people hear it, right? Some things are meant to be really heard and understood. We don't need doubles, do we? Release your power. I think that's what I'm doing. I'm giving you guys little tidbits as it comes to my mind. And no, I don't have proof. And I really don't feel like I have to prove anything to anybody. I got God on my side. I listen to God. I'm a good person. Um, yeah, like... I've forgiven myself. I'm single. I haven't had anybody intimately in many years. And be careful, ladies out there and men, who you, if you slip and trip and fall on someone's dick or if you let somebody dump his garbage into you, you're going to take on all his crap, his emotions, his yeah so release your power we're all kings and queens working for the most high the creator to create our world resilience rise above tribulations to hell what people say as long as it's for the good of all and this is for newbies too, you know, like I've been floating around YouTube. Well, my account, it's been 11 years, but it's been a lot longer. And I've just been watching and just, maybe that's evil, but I did what God told me to do. And, you know, things have been happening for years years and years and years and years my intentions and I used to think oh it's not me doing that it's not me doing that I didn't do that so I learned at an early age to watch what I say how I say it and my intentions behind it because whatever I say comes true and I'm excited for my future because I've been, I have been planting seeds for a long time and I do have a lot of dreams and I am overcoming all my insecurities. So my excitement is like my heart is beating so fast and I'm sharing it with you because my intentions is to send it to you so that you feel good, so that you know that you are perfect already and our learning curves are our learning curves that's how we learn there's no like i said earlier there's no wrong way of shuffling cards i don't believe that it's your intentions right if your energy are in your hands and you have the power and my battery's low, so I have to go. This is celebration. Let go and have fun. God bless everybody. Have a wonderful day. Pray for, pray for rain, please. Perfect harmony for the weather, for the earth, for your life. Celebrate you and your victories. God bless you. I love you. Take care.